This is just a quick tutorial on how to load the, the class notebooks and also start an assignment in the Jupyter uh, notebook using the IBM Data Science workshop for the applications of deep learning class. Here we are basically at the website uh, for the class. If you scroll down to GitHub and you click on here where the course material is, you basically are, are at the, the, the site. Over here, there's a clone or download, the green button. If you click on that, you basically have the option to download the zip. Now, these files will change as the course progresses. So if you download a zip right now, it won't, it won't stay up to date. So you'll need to download future zips for that as, as the class material is updated. So I'm downloading the zip file, and it is it is now in my um, my um, downloads folder here. If you double click it, it just opens it up, and inside of there, you can see basically the data directory. That's that's important. We'll use that in a second, and then also the IPython notebooks for the various classes. So class one, the introduction to Python, I'll show you how to actually open that one and then just how to start a new project. So if you go into www.datascientistworkbench.com, I also have links to that, but that is this is the link for it. You'll need to register. I already have an account, so if I click login, it will take me take me in there. I was already logged in. Basically, the first thing you'll want to do is copy those data files into here. So you just go to My Data. You're always going to be going to My Data or Jupyter Notebook. So let's go to My Data. You will notice that you're in a directory called Resources Data. Basically, that's why most of the scripts you'll see that I'm referencing a data subdirectory. That's just so that I can get into into here. We want to upload the data files that I gave you in the download inside of this data directory here. There's four of them here. There'll, there'll be more by the end of the class, but for now, these are the ones that you will need up through probably the first half of the class. So if you click this upload data over here, it will bring up a little area there. And you can drag basically all four of these at once and it's uploading them basically. You can see the green check boxes, they are now all uploaded. You have this here. You only want to do this for data files, for CSV files. To get an actual Jupyter notepad into there, you'll do something different. So let's do that now actually. We've got our data files, so click on Jupyter. And now you're in Jupyter Notebook. You'll see that that basically there are already some example ones here. If you want to create a brand new notepad, like you'll probably do for the first homework assignment, you'll just click here and click um, Python 3. And it basically brings you to a empty notepad. And now you're basically in Python. So you can do any sort of Python that you would normally do. And um, execute the program and it should work out just fine. So that counts from 0 to 0 to 9. If you want to load one of the one of the examples that that I've already provided you with, oh and by the way that's untitled. If you want to rename that and give it a real name, which you should, click rename and you might just call this your last name and program one if you're going to submit it to me. You don't need to put a extension on it. It'll automatically put the correct extension on it. You can see now we're J Eaton Program 1 IPython Notebook. So basically now if you want to look at one of the examples that I've given you, like say you wanted to play with class 1, you basically can drag it from here and put it right into Jupyter Notebook. And you do that and it basically figures out what it is, it puts it into the appropriate, um, uh, you can see it figured out it was Python 3, and you now basically have a Jupyter, my 
first class, the Jupyter Notebook, there. If you scroll down to where there is actually some, some code, so like here, if you want to run the Python versions, you can basically click, and if, when I click it, you'll notice this little text, the output goes away briefly and then comes back. So it's, a, it's gone now, and then it comes right back. So it ran that program and gave you the output. So that's basically a quick introduction to, to the data scientist workbench. Every assignment in this class, you can do completely through the, the, notepad, the, the IBM data science workbench. It has all the capabilities there. This saves you from having to get TensorFlow and Python and all the others loaded onto your environment. So this is just a quick introduction to how you would do that.